Did you know that there are foods out there that will actually fight inflammation in your body? In this video, we're gonna talk about 10 foods that are easy to find, that are delicious, and are high in antioxidants and other anti-inflammatory properties, so you can start eating more of them, feeling better, and finally getting rid of that inflammation. So let's get started. So everybody knows that we should be eating more healthy foods to feel healthier and be healthier, but it can be really hard to drop those old habits when we don't know exactly what those foods are that we should be eating. In a previous video, I've shared with you the top 10 foods that cause inflammation. Foods like refined carbs and processed sugars and trans fats. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I recommend checking it out. I'll link to it below for you. Because it's very important to understand what foods we need to avoid and limit so that we understand what we're doing that might actually be hurting us. So let's talk about 10 foods that I think are delicious and easy to find and super good for you that you should be adding to your diet so that you can start having more of these antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties in your body to start feeling better and reduce that inflammation. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, sardines, those are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Specifically, we're talking about the omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. And all you need to know about that is that research shows that those continually reduce overall inflammation in our body. Number two are nuts. Nuts like almonds, walnuts, pecans, peanuts. All of these nuts contain polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats, and those all work well to fight against inflammation. Next up on our list is berries. The antioxidants in berries are known to keep your immune system functioning well, and that helps to reduce your overall inflammation. Research has shown that strawberries can actually reduce inflammatory markers that are linked to heart disease and rheumatoid arthritis, and blueberries contain flavonoids that are known to reduce inflammation as well. Number four, leafy green veggies like spinach and kale and shards and collard greens. All of these are extremely good to fight inflammation. Number five is a controversial one for some people. It's tomatoes. Tomatoes are actually a really great source of the phytochemical lysopene, which has extreme anti-inflammatory properties and has been studied over and over again in relation to how it helps reduce inflammation and reduce the causes of other diseases. Tomatoes are high in potassium and vitamin C, and those are also anti-inflammatory. Some people think that because tomatoes are from the nightshade family, that they can cause inflammation, particularly in arthritis clients. But research has shown that there is actually zero link between nightshade foods and inflammation. So our number six is turmeric, and that is a spice that has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. In fact, I have a whole video on turmeric and its benefits that I can link to for you. But really research shows that the supplements of curcumin are more effective than just adding it to your food as a spice. Nonetheless, it's still a very potent anti-inflammatory food. Next is extra virgin olive oil. It contains polyphenols, which is extremely helpful for anti-inflammation. And that's because polyphenols actually prevent inflammatory compounds from being released into the body. It actually works very similarly to the anti-inflammatory medicine ibuprofen. And studies on the polyphenols inside extra virgin olive oil have shown that it has a great effect on inflammation, oxidative stress, specific types of cancer, and then also neurodegenerative and rheumatoid diseases. So cherries are a nutritional powerhouse, believe it or not. They're full of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants specifically tart cherries, which have the more brighter red color as opposed to the darker, deeper red color. So cherries have been shown in studies to actually reduce inflammation by reducing overall oxidative stress in your body. So we have dark chocolate, which has a ton of antioxidants and other nutritional benefits, has vitamins, has minerals, it tastes delicious, it reduces stress. I have a whole video on the benefits of dark chocolate that you should check out. So when consumed in moderation, dark chocolate have what's called flavonoids. Now, not all chocolate is created equal. So you wanna look for dark chocolate that contains 70% cacao or higher, cause that's gonna have the highest proportion of flavonoids. It's also gonna have much less processed sugars and other added artificial flavors in there. So number 10 is grapes. And grapes contain resveratrol, and that is gonna be the important compound inside grapes. It has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties, it's been shown to reduce blood glucose levels and has anti-cancer properties. 
Along with that, it contains anthocyanins, which also have anti-inflammatory properties. And the cool thing about this is just a bunch of naturally occurring whole foods that don't have that processing. You don't need to go spend a ton of money on supplements to go make it work. The more we can start focusing on eating more of these anti-inflammatory foods and whole unprocessed foods, removing those foods that cause inflammation, and just getting some basic movement throughout the day, the more inflammation we will reduce over time. And then the more inflammation that goes away, the less pain and discomfort you're gonna be in. If you felt this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who could benefit. Make sure to check out my five day free anti-inflammatory meal plan that covers a ton of this content and is free to download and delicious and five days of anti-inflammatory foods so you can start feeling better right away. And here's to being better than yesterday every day. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.